Hello and welcome to Anton's TV. My name is Jack Duxbury and in this video I'm going to move on from kind of the last lockdown lesson I did about if you bought a keyboard and you've received it and know nothing about music. This is for people who might know or think they know about how to play a C major chord and how to do some really simple things and start learning some songs. Let's get into it! Okay, let's hear what we're going to get to. It's going to sound like this. Sounds like the building blocks of a song, albeit a very simple one. But hey, you've bought a keyboard. The reason why I'm doing this is a lot of people have bought keyboards from Anson's. Thank you very much. In this lockdown period, some people buy it. And I was just thinking, crikey, O'Reilly, what do I do when I first get one? There's loads of lessons out there. But if you bought it from us and you've seen a video, hopefully these are some quick ones to get you going. In the other video that should be out and about this time, it's like, what do you do when you just get it out of the box? And I said, all the white notes work together, put your foot on sustain and have fun. Okay, next step on from that is learning, we don't even have to call it a chord really, let's stick with just all the white keys. And remember what I played there at the beginning? That as well, I played a a random pattern really, could be. And it's all about these white notes working together. Just to recap as well, it turns out that all the white notes are the notes of the scale of C. All of the white notes work together, they're in the same family, they're all friends, right? And when we do the CV Wonder, with a pedal down, that's because, hey, they're all friends and when they speak, they all get along, right? Now, let's put in some structure. And what I was doing there is just playing a pattern. You don't have to worry about the chords as much. I will tell you what they are, though. We want to find that C. If you don't know where C is, you'll see that. You'll see that. We've got groups of two black notes and groups of three black notes. You want to look for this group of two black notes in the middle and it will be the white key immediately to the left of that. So it sounds like this. Karate chop. We close our eyes. We've had fun with the piano, this next bit. So we need to find that C and we're going to put our thumb on it. And then what we're going to do is count up one white note, two white notes, and we're going to put our index finger on this note. Have a listen to it, make sure it checks okay with mine. And then we're going to get our middle finger and put it on this note up here. Fifth white note in a row, that's G, C, E, and G. Don't worry about it, just make this sound. Put it all down at once. And if you're a bit bunched up, I always tell people move over. A lot of people sit in the middle of the piano and they get little T-Rex hands. Just chill out, get to one side of it, play like this. Now, what we want to do is in our left hand, find a C and it's called an octave down. But again, all you got to do is go, oh, there's a group of two notes. Look for the next group of two black notes. Look for that C, play it all at once. You can play that with your thumb. You can do whatever you want with that but I like it on my index. That's what it sounds like. And get comfortable with that. Spread out the notes. Go down. Go random. Fan them. Up and down. Here's the crux of the matter. Move this pattern up just one white note. I don't want you to think, if you can, it might stack it the first time and kind of go. 
doesn't matter, they're all friends, but look, look at the pattern and start to try see, and this exercise will get you used to kind of locking your hand in a shape. A lot of people think piano is like a minefield of all these notes that can go wrong, and guitar is friendly, we're just moving shapes around. It's the same on piano, it's just a tessellatable shape. And let's do it. Let's move it up one right note. Let's move the whole shape up again. And just keep going. If it feels scary and it didn't go very well that time, don't worry about it. I swear, after two, three minutes, you'll be flying through that, okay? Second one. Third one. Fourth one. Fifth. Six. Seventh. You've heard that's the same as this. Everything repeats up and down the piano, but you don't need to worry about that, okay? Now, just like we did with our eyes closed, and they all work together, if we keep our eyes open, but lock down into a shape and pick any, it doesn't have to start on C, go out there, let's start on this white note. Don't even worry what it's called, but this is called an E. And then move randomly to other white notes. Now, you hear in groups of twos and fours, you probably might stumble across some songs there. Or if you want to just have a little sing and you've got a glass of wine out and go for that. They are... The reason why you can hear songs and they sound familiar is because we're working in a key in this family of notes all work together. That's how pop songs work. Is they are predominantly all friends of each other, all the chords that you'll hear, and they just repeat themselves in different patterns. In further lessons, I might teach you how to attribute numbers to these things, keep it away from getting too heavy. Uh, just want to offer you an alternative and a quick way to enjoy the piano without thinking too much. Uh, you might recognize... Um, See how I'm playing different rhythms? I can go play this rhythm. I could spread them. I can always spread them. It's the same, I don't want this lesson, if you've watched the other one, to stop you exploring. This whole shape, we could just keep one C down. I could close my eyes. And it doesn't even have to be that shape. It could be inventor shape. Another one. You're used to seeing patterns. Most people are, they can see it. That's all we're gonna do with these white notes. They're your friend. Don't worry about what they are, what they mean, how they work in songs. You've just bought a piano and you wanna have fun with it. That's the bit. Again, that pedal being down really helps, right? Without it, it's this. With the pedal. And off makes everything ring together. Might not feel like you've learnt a lot, but if you're starting from a standing start, hopefully you've gone from even just having a bit of fun with what you've got and you're, you've learnt some chords, believe it or not. Go watch some other videos from some other great educators. Find someone that you like who teaches you properly. Uh, these are just little things thrown out there that might get you started. I am going to play kind of like a song with that shape.
See you next time. Thank you for watching.